Just got Chibi Robo in the mail today. Nice. That's a little personal. My, my amiibo. That is a little personal. Save it for the show, Tony. Get hyped, stay hyped. Hello everyone, it is Wednesday, December 16th, episode number 74, and welcome to Frame Loss. Tonight, we're going to do our end of the year wrap up. What does that mean? Well, we're going to talk about our favorite games of the year. We don't give away an award per se, but we talk about the games that we think really excelled throughout the course of the year. I know end of the year wrap up can be a little ambiguous. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're also going to look back at our predictions we made last year. TJ's going to stop messing with his headset because that's loud as shit. Yeah. Uh, we're going to look at our predictions from last year, uh, see how good we did, and then we're also going to make our predictions for the year coming up. So be hype about that, because we're pretty good at it. Uh, you'll see later on in the show just how good we are. But before all of that, uh, let's meet the people who make the show happen. To my left, uh, the man with the plan, from CJ. Say hello. What's up, everybody? My name is from CJ, and just like Star Citizen, I have raised $100 million. You really? Oh. No. Uh, sorry. Just like Star Citizen, I will never be coming out with Star Citizen. Oh, okay. God damn it. <laughs> and to my right, the man with less plans than right. previous people who had plans, uh, <laughs> Dr. Monkey. Say hello. Hey, everyone. How I'm better how than two inches. How much oh, less better. plans? Like significantly Donnie, you're going to regret plans? that statement. Nope. Uh, he just melts an amoeba. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm your host, Two Inches. Uh... So let's get down to, because we've got a lot to talk about tonight, so let's just get down to the nitty gritty. And from CJ, what have you been playing since the last show? Um, not a ton. It's definitely way less than last week when I had like two months worth of games to report on. Uh, I've been playing Guild Wars 2. I've been doing a little bit of that. Uh, some Wildstar. I've been playing Smite, which is, I don't know if you guys know about that, but it's a like yeah. third-person shooter MOBA. Um, it's less of a shooter. Well... Yeah, it's not like Some really shooting. a shooter. It's, it's a third-person MOBA. Which yeah, is but it's like but it's... I was designing one before they came out with it. Well, all MOBAs are third-person, but it's like third-person it, it, behind the shoulder. Can. Yeah, yeah, and like yeah. You, it's like first-person shooter controls, third, like yeah. WASD. It's it's kind of weird, but it's a, it's actually a lot of fun. I'm, yeah, it's very very popular. I never got super into it, but a lot of my friends do, and they still play and like follow the updates. Like I hung out with them, and they're like, "Oh, did you see the new patch notes?" And I'm like, "Oh, I forgot people play this game." Yeah, I I played it at PAX, and uh, they gave me like a coupon or whatever for like you could get the pack where you get every god ever forever for like fifty bucks or something. So I was like, "Yeah, sure." Like, whatever. Yeah, it's not uh, a bad deal. It, it was so super been... ugly and clunky in the beta, and I was in the beta, but then they, like, re everything, and it's so nice now. I mean, it's still, eh, I don't know about so nice. It's I didn't play it in the beta, but it... So nice definitely, in comparison. There's definitely, like, not a large enough community for it. Like, I'll wait, like, yeah. five minutes to get into a match, stuff like I mean, that. I mean, it's graphically nicer. Like, yes, nicer. okay. That's that's more of what I meant, and less clunky. The, the UI was very clunk before. That makes sense. Uh, also, uh, League, obviously, I got into um, my Bronze 5 uh, promotion series by accident. I was not even trying to, and they were like, you've been playing well enough to uh, advance. So I played my first uh, first game in the series last night, to which our mid laner proceeded to AFK during the loading screen and watch a bunch of porn, and then come back when everyone else was level 12 and he was level 6 and feed the enemy champions until we lost. Nice. He's doing his part. So, yeah. Yep, I, I it was. He, I never thought I'd be in a scenario where I was like, I wish you'd just never come back. But it would have been more useful if you just didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So zero oh and one on that guy. Yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, so uh, I didn't play Dragon Age, but I've been working my way through it. I didn't nice. get any done this week, but I want to be Dragon Age and then two, so I can finally play Inquisition. Nice. What uh, what are you even playing, Donnie? Uh, well, I was like, oh man. We watch a lot of TV, so I'm going to actually break out my 3DS and just play it on the couch while we watch something as a group. And 
I played Pokemon on Omega Ruby for literally two minutes and then was like, oh, we're putting Vikings on. This is compelling. I have to focus. And I closed my DS. But I played a bit of it. And then the rest of the time, I've just been playing a lot of Fallout. Like, a lot more Fallout 4. Still on my punch quest. I'm getting to a point. I three-punched a Deathclaw the other... Um, nice. nice. Recently. You're, you're close to one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I three-punched him in Vats, so it's a little... I mean... I, it's not cheating, I still did it, but I did that also so he wouldn't kill me while I'm trying to punch him just with regular triggers. But, I'm getting there. Punch Quest is going strong, and I think that's it. Uh, what have you been playing, Two Inches? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Rocket League um, since the uh -huh, hockey came out. Um, I've also been playing... What have I been playing? Um, I actually need to do a lot of gaming this week. As you can see behind me, over there, uh, I bought a new desk. I traveled to the faraway land of Ikea, and I got a, I got a new desk, and I'll have a new setup uh, next year. Um, you'll see it, because we're not going to have another show this year, so you'll see my setup this year. Uh, I also got this little guy, uh, the Wii Fit Trainer, and I was, really, I was really excited about that, so I'm going to open time. that. Since this is a, it's a running theme on the show now. That's true. That I open that's, Amiibos Live for Donnie. The theme does run. It makes it better when it's a unicorn, I think. What is it? Well, yeah. Is that Wii Fit Trainer? Yeah. I he don't just even said that. own her. I just opened it. I zoned out because when you... <laughs> why, did you say, boat, why did you say something? We would have saved it. I could have saved it for you. Oh, I man. That. You said, what unicorns do you own today? She's a unicorn. She was not on the list. He, we were talking he, about but you didn't say anything. She has you this dumb like, plastic that. foot. You never... He just said, oh, I have these ones. He didn't say... He was just... I thought we were comparing uh, Amiibos. This oh, is no. not on me. This. this is on him <laughs> you when blew he it. knows I didn't have it. I you didn't blow it. This. He blew it. Well, okay. He oh, won. He wouldn't have even given it to me because he no, wanted this... to do this shit. No, no, no. This, this, is the, this was the first Amiibo I wanted. So this one I wanted. Yeah, that's true. Uh, CJ knows this. Yeah, I tried to... So I, I gave him plenty of places to buy it and he was like, no. Yeah. But now I have it, and I'm really excited about it, because she's kind of cool. Um, what else? So what else have I played? Uh, nothing really, because I did a lot this weekend, like, not game-related. I actually took a break from gaming. Uh, Donnie, let's calm down. No, I just, I just, just quit. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I quit frame loss today. Just... Uh, yeah, be other so enemies. I had real-life stuff that I was doing, and I may mainly just played Rocket League. Uh, that's going to change next week, uh, but... Because I have plans for some things that we'll talk about towards the end of the show. I feel like maybe you should be playing more Rocket League, considering your performance. Uh... Yeah. So, oh, so I did go... Well, I've been playing a lot on the PS4, because on Steam, I'm gold in every division. And on PS4, I'm not gold, because I hadn't been playing it for a while. Oh, so you get to dumpster people and have easy troll matches. Yeah, I've been yeah. I've been dumpstering this, a good amount. It takes all it the takes Kyle a, boxes. It takes a while to get... It checks off every single Kyle box. It takes a while to get from bronze to uh, gold, like, legitly. Yeah, but you I mean, I guess I got... Legitly. Well, I am, because I have to work my way through them. That's like, not like... That's like, not like, like a, a, that's like a pro baseball player being like, wow, it takes a long time to get through these innings when I keep stopping the game for my home runs. Yeah. Well, no, so I get, I wait, if I get five goals ahead, I stop scoring. I just five play goalie. Five goals ahead. Oh yeah, I stop scoring and I just play goalie. Un this is the most Kyle thing we've talked about all year. It's like yeah. you saved it for the end of the year. It's pretty accurate. Yeah. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with the Rocket League because that's, we'll talk about that more when we get to our game of the year discussion. Um... But we don't really have any releases of the week, so we can't really jump to that because the season's over. Uh, it won't start up till January. We talked about that last week, so pretty much everything that's out is out. Uh, Devil's Third came out this week, but nobody can buy it because they only shipped like 500 copies max. Um, I didn't even hear about it. Yeah, Nintendo didn't advertise this at all. I feel like they just wanted this game to be buried immediately. Uh, so that was it. That came out Tuesday, and then the rest of the year is nothing. So save your pennies. Uh, Steam sale, I guess. The next yeah. thing to be excited about. December twenty second. Get hyped. Stay hyped. Yeah. Uh, so Donnie, why don't you take us into news of the week? Okay, it's time for news of the week. News of the week. The fact that it was timed so well with me clicking the button to bring up the graphic, yeah. I like, but I still don't like. <laughs> Man, why do you have to crap on it? We actually feel like get a us, show when we do. Get that. us a get us a soundboard, and then you can yeah. stop. Okay. On it. Okay. We have a lot of things happening in. 
2016. Let me just that's, tell you. There are a lot of things real... we talk about things. Yeah, like. yeah. I was going to say, things we have a lot of things. We're going to talk about more things we won't do in 2016. <laughs> exactly. We have a lot of, we have a list. Prediction done. 2016, the list gets a second page. It's a big deal. 2016, I get more honorable mentions. Okay. False. So, Nintendo Direct happened uh, yesterday. And so, uh, the first thing, it was the last Nintendo Direct for Smash Brothers, they claimed. So, Corrin from Fire Emblem was added to Smash, so yay, another Fire Emblem character. Yeah, that seemed really weird to me. Like, they Just have, like, so six love. Fire Emblem characters? They love like, Fire Emblem. They really do. But I'm just sick of sword characters in Smash Brothers. But th it's just because I don't play them. Yeah. But, again, I can't really complain because no matter who they added, I probably would have stayed with my main and just been like, oh, that's fun. Um, so the male and female version. Uh, dragon transformations and and looks really powerful and good character. No exclusive stage, which gets two mu music tracks and will be out February 2016, uh, 4 dollars Yeah. Um, I, I thought it was weird that there's a male and female version of it, but I guess that makes sense because of the game. They did the same with um, Robin. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, they did, yeah. So yeah. there's nothing innovative. Do you think they'll have two Amiibos? No. They just did one when they did Robin. Okay. Which one? Uh, did they both get a male version? Lucina got Lucina. Okay. The girl. John, John Cena? John Cena. Okay. Also, from the Nintendo Direct, uh, speaking of sword users for Donnie, uh, Cloud, they announced, they talked more about him and how his moves work, uh, right. but the big thing they did was they announced that he was available to get right now. Like, as they said it, you could go to the Nintendo Direct and, or you could go to the Nintendo eShop and download him. Uh, and that took down most of the eShop. Uh, people were waiting hours to be able to get in uh, to download him because people flooded that server. So that just shows how rabid Cloud fans are. Yeah. Which um, no one knew. Yeah, which no one, could, no one could have seen coming. Yeah. No, um, but exactly. what else they showed with him is he has three costumes in the game. Uh, one regular costume and two from Advent Children. He has the one where he has the stigma armband around his arm. Uh, I thought it was weird that they gave him two from Advent Children and not from Final Fantasy. Hmm. Uh, but whatever. Like, I'm fine with that. No dress? Uh, they also showed a lot of his was stage. Advent Children, was Advent Children on any Nintendo console? No, Advent was Children a was a movie. Oh, it was the movie. Oh. Yeah. Uh, they also showed how his stage worked. And his stage actually looks really interesting from like a design point. Uh, there's materia floating around in it. Oh, and that's you, what all that materia stuff. Is yeah, about. so there's materia floating around in it, and you jump and like grab the materia, and that'll summon a random summon: uh, Ifrit, Ramu, Odin, Leviathan, Bahamut. I was wondering Zero. what that was in the trailer. Yeah, and those really affect how the game plays. Uh, Odin will slice the stage directly in half, and like it'll split and move apart. Um, and when it comes back together, if you're if you're in the way of it, you'll get crushed. Uh, so it's interesting. Um, then they showed a whole mess of me costumes, including a Chocobo hat, uh, Sonic Super Mario RPG, and a whole bunch of other Japanese games. Um, so there's a ton well, of well, me well, costumes. Oh, oh, Super Mario RPG is a costume for it. Yeah, all these were costumes announced for the three me characters. Got it. That's disappointing. Uh, they also started bragging about how many costumes the me characters had. Which they like, they put up a bunch of numbers. Like that yeah. sounds like a very Nintendo thing to brag about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're cool, but like, I don't know a lot of people who play the Mies. They're fun to make like your own Mii character do stuff with, but beside that, yeah. Yeah, Biohazard. The map will never be used in competitive because of the materia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that was it for Cloud. CJ, oh, do you, do you uh, have something to tell? I do. Sorry. You were so this. proud of I was even looking, texting I was looking at, me about it. I was looking at his alternate skins. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah. So, Donnie and uh, Kyle and I were discussing predictions for Smash and the Nintendo Direct yesterday, uh, and I was like, you know, my prediction. And Donnie and Kyle were both like, "There's no way this is gonna." happen. I did not so say Donnie, that at all. Not even close. Just, That's, they said a hundred percent, no chance was that Bayonetta oh, would be the new announcement. And lo and behold... Not even remotely close. Bayonetta blasts her way into the fight. I actually... I, I thought she could be in it, but I didn't think she was going to be in it. I didn't think she'd be the fan vote. I thought she was a possibility. Not she, the was the, she was the heated. winner of the fan vote that was like the... 
the first one in the fan vote that they could that was like realizable. Basically. Yeah, she was so, number. She was the number one in Europe. She was in the top five in the U.S. What and, that means is she was the they they went through, and anyone they said was okay, they went and asked, and she was the first one that someone said yes to. Yeah, yeah. Well, and people are heated well, about. Well, Shovel like, Knight was one in the first in the U.S. I believe in the fan vote, and the Shovel Knight guy said yes, I do it. But Nintendo before the fan vote even started said we're probably not doing Shovel Knight. They had a list of characters that's like chances are no. And yeah, that's because that's because Shovel Knight is not that does not meet their rigorous third party uh, qualifications to make right. it into the apparently I mean Ban- the high profile Super Smash Bros. Yeah, yeah, Bayonetta makes sense for a fighting game. She plays like a fighting game character, so I get it. Yeah, um, yeah. It it looked she terrible. looked fun. I have not purchased any of the. Smash DLC, and I probably won't because it's a little expensive for someone that doesn't play the yeah. game like religiously. I'll yeah. probably download it once I reset up my Wii U. I'm definitely gonna get Bayonetta just because I'm a huge Platinum Games fan. And I love Bayonetta as a character. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Uh, five five ninety nine for a character that for a game that I don't really even like. Like I don't like Smash that much. Yeah. So five ninety nine for a character in a game that I'm just gonna be like, I love this character. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, weird. So she's she's being released fall 2016. Uh, the intro clock tower stage is going to be that's where she will fight. Uh, nice. There's a whole bunch of music from Bayonetta and Bayonetta 2 that's going to be in Super. Yeah, Smash there was a lot when they started scrolling through the list. There was a yeah. ton of music tracks for her. It's pretty pretty cool. Pretty nice little details to add. Yeah. Also, uh, the Ryu amiibo is coming out on March 18th. Um, and like we said, Cloud Corn and Bayonetta amiibos were confirmed. Yeah, they ended it with the confirmation of all those amiibos. Uh, which, which is like, uh, I hate when. I feel like it was already like, something that was confirmed because I thought they said every Smash character was getting they an did. amiibo. They did say that. That's why it's like, yeah. this is not a big announcement. You're really going to end with this? Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, all in all, it was an okay direct. Um, yep. They said it's the final Smash 1, period. Uh, Until which, next time. Well, which yeah, makes you... Until... T- we forgot to write of 2015. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I missed... Nintendo Direct 2016. We found an error in our uh, last yeah. Direct. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do and uh, how much longer they're going to support it with the possibility of NX dropping next year. Because um, we don't know a lot about NX and what it's going to support or the control scheme for it. So, will this Smash be playable on that one, or are they just going to make a new Smash? Uh, we were talking about this the other day. I think that they, I think they'll keep the backwards compatibility. They've been pretty, ever since the GameCube, GameCube yeah. Wii, they kept Wii, Wii U, they kept. So, I think yeah. they're going to keep backwards compatibility from Wii U to NX. Yeah. Just the one generation, though. Yeah. Yeah, they like one generation steps. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Uh, Wait, can, I, can I keep that? Can I just steal that as a prediction? No, you damn can't. it. Uh, a prediction of uh, actually, hold on, real quick. Speaking of backwards compatibility, I don't know if you guys saw, but Sony was uh, taking. They're doing like a fan vote for PS2 titles uh, that people want to see added to the oh, backwards really? compatibility collection on PS4. To which I say, what backwards compatibility collection? Wait, well, I don't. I didn't hear about this. Where, where is this fan vote? Because I have some votes to make. Uh, one second, I'll find. I mean, none of yours are gonna win, so I don't know why you're gonna bother. No one wants get... to play Hideki no Deku Katsatu 4 or whatever. Are you serious? That's going to win. No. It has two votes. I saw. Um, okay. They were both you, Kyle. Uh, yeah, I'll create where, dummy accounts all day. Where, oh where. Okay, I'm going to go yeah. on to the next thing while you look for that. Uh, big news today, and they, this was actually one of my predictions for next year, and I had to rewrite it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this one came true. This was an early Christmas present for me. What? I want to... Oh, Dragon Cream, you're really nice. I like you. That's you're nice, yeah. Yeah, he's a fun guy. Thank you. Uh, oh, so, man, dude, that holiday season. What I woke up to this morning was an early Christmas present for me. Uh, Sony announced today that a new, well-established developer is teaming up with them. Who is that developer? Hideo Kojima. Uh, that's not what Kojima looks like. No, that's his new studio logo, which is weird as hell. Yeah, it is. So I full, it definitely is Kojima. Uh, so December 15th, Hideo's non-compete clause ended, and he was finally free, uh, he was a real boy, he can do whatever he wants now, and what did he do? He started a new studio, aptly named 
Kojima Productions, which I wonder if that's he had actually to pay what for that stands for. It's actually Japanese for fuck Konami. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if he had to pay for that, because I thought Konami owned Kojima Productions. No, they own Ko- Kojima Studios. You're yeah. actually right. That's... Uh, loopholes, man. Are great. Uh, and who has he teamed up with? Sony. Uh, Big Daddy Warbucks Sony is going to bankroll whatever batshit crazy comes out of this man's brain, and we'll probably see it in about six years. Uh, but I can't wait. I can't wait to see him do something non-Metal Gear related. Um, as much as I love the Metal Gear franchise, and I'm wearing a Metal Gear hoodie right now, uh, as much as I love that series, I also love Snatcher, and I also love Police Knots, and I also love everything else this man has done. So I know he can do other things, and he's wanted to do other things, so I'm glad Sony is just going to give him money and just let him do whatever the fuck he wants. They're Related. not making Police Knots, too. I know Related. they're not, because Konami owns Police Knots yeah. and, and Snatcher. Related to this news, I saw a tweet today that was like, uh, in response to this, like, oh, great, because Sony needs a, another uh, game project that'll take five years to come yep. out. <laughs> the be- so my best, the best thing for me on this one is uh, I really hope Kojima has to, like, pay to use his engine that he created with Konami. Like, yeah, he's right. like, I want to create a game with the Fox engine that I created. Well, you're going to have to lease it from us because we own it. Like, that's... <laughs> Fuck Konami and everything, but that that's really funny to me. That yeah. <laughs> if he wanted to use the Fox engine, he'd have to do that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm super hyped. Um, there were two people who I wanted to see Kojima go to, and he went to the, the main one I wanted him to. Because uh, there's really, to me, there's only two studios who could bankroll like his like crazy mind, and that was either Sony or Microsoft. I don't think anyone has the capital to afford to be able to just let him do anything. And... Giving him that freedom, I really like that. So it was either Sony or Microsoft, and I'm glad he chose Sony. And it makes sense because they're a Japanese studio, so yeah, they're a company. Japanese I, studio uh, company. I think exclusives are dumb. I I don't disagree with that, but yeah. So no matter where he went, it was going to be exclusive. If Microsoft snagged him, that game was 100 percent not leaving that console. I mean, Microsoft said that they were open to letting Rare port. Rare replay to the Wii U, so I don't know about I don't know about your Microsoft hate, but it seems unwarranted. No, they would not let this. That they would sell said, so many systems. No, they said they were open to it, and then Rare was like, "No, thank you." Yeah, they were opening it for a Rare Replay. Rare Replay is not Kojima Productions. I, I don't think Rare Replay has enough sales to be a major console push for them. Uh, I think it does for Nintendo. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Nint- Nintendo, yes. Yeah. I agree with that. So, But I'm just saying, I mean, I, uh, all I'm saying is that Microsoft's recent history shows a willingness to cooperate with other uh, video game hardware companies. I don't know if that's Whereas actually... Whereas <laughs> Sony's recent history shows a clear lack of cooperation. I don't yeah. know so, about that. QED. What about Tomb Raider? What about Tomb Raider? That's, that's staying strong on Xbox for... Another year. Has anyone asked for it to be ported? Yeah, it's going to PS4 at the end of the next year. But well, there you go. They're sharing it. Yeah, later. Yay. What? It... Okay. Blah, blah, blah. What about this game? They already agreed to share. <laughs> let's what move about on. It? Let's start talking. Let's talk about. Well, let's talk about game of the year now. Yeah, the uh, Framies. Yeah, the Framies. We apparently call them. We called them the Framies and the Lossies last year, Donnie, and yeah. CJ really liked the name, so... That's because the Framies are the, Framies are the good ones, and Lossies are the bad ones. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Nikki Baby is a good question. Are we doing the bobblehead tonight? Oh, yes, we are doing the bobblehead tonight at the end of the show. Yep. You... Stick around. Yeah, I almost forgot about that. Good call, Nikki. Yeah, Stay... good job, Nikki. I would have forgotten, too. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to actually bring that up, because I didn't have that ready. We're professionals. Yeah. Well, we already brought it up. Now it's yeah. been brought up. Yeah. Well, I was bringing up the the results. It's been brought. You, you don't have to. You don't have to tell people this stuff. Okay. Like, you, yeah, we could have just love done announcing. It we could have already. You love announcing behind the scenes when we're unprofessional, and you know what's the most unprofessional thing? Doing that. Imagine if on the news they were just like, "And my teleprompter stopped." I can't. Oh, sorry, guys. Teleprompter. teleprompter I would professionally lie about it and cover you it just up. Re- but I'll <laughs> tell you. We'd be more professional if you didn't tell people Kyle how unprofessional secretly, we are. You secretly hate frame loss and want us to fail. This is accurate. Okay, so let's talk about the frameies. Oh my god. 
Uh, oh wait, did you not prepare the framey script either? No, I have. To, no. <laughs> well, no, the framey is just an open discussion. Um. Okay. So, what did you guys think? Like, what did you guys play this year that you thought like really stood out? Uh, I guess I'll throw it to CJ first. Yeah. Um, I would say probably all around game of the year would have to go to The Witcher Three. Um, it was just so massive and such a clear improvement over The Witcher 1 and The Witcher 2. Like, they've shown growth as a studio, uh, growth as storytellers, and a willingness to support their games and their fans. Um, and then even just as far as the game goes itself, it's a huge game. There's a ton to do. Uh, the, at no point do you feel like there's just fluff and BS. There's no collect missions or just go kill this guy missions. It's not Grand Theft Auto. Um... So I thought they did a great job with it, and it was worth the wait. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with any of that. Um, I don't know if I would give it Game of the Year, um, just because I got... I think just a lot came out, like, right after The Witcher, and I I put about... Mm, I think one thing came out. One thing specifically did, and so I put about 45-ish hours into The Witcher, uh, and then, like, it hasn't... I haven't had that urge to, like, jump back into that world. And maybe it's because I've been away for so long that I'm like... I feel like I should start over to like really like get the yeah. full full effect, and then I'm just like, man, I put so much time into it already. Do I want to start over? It's just a very daunting game. Well, just don't don't start over. Yeah, I mean, I could do that. Uh, Donnie, what about you? Uh, I mean, I I never I most of the time never play games like right when they come out. I rarely do, so it's hard for me to like weigh in on a lot of these. But I definitely think one, I know CJ was going to have it as an honorable mention, but I definitely want to give props, and I def, and I don't think it'll get as much of the recognition it deserves, but Undertale. Because this is like, it's an indie game that came out of almost nowhere, heard nothing about it, and then saw like two people mentioned it, and then within a week it just blew up. Like, just, it was very, very well done for a... Uh, for an indie game that had little to, like, no talk about it, and um, it was very interesting. Uh, I still need to go back and play more of it, but the fact that they, like, kind of subverted what an RPG is, had, like, very earthbound -y elements to it, felt like earthbound. You can go through the whole game without killing people, but it, uh, it makes it that still interesting. In fact, it's more fun to be a pacifist because that makes your fights more puzzles to solve because instead of just being like oh i have to kill this monster you have to figure out the right order of what to say to this monster and what to do to make this monster like not kill you yeah i've heard the boss fights are really fun i haven't played oh, it yeah. so i can't really like i was to say, say i want to point out it. that the only reason i was giving it an honorable mention and not accolades yeah. is because i haven't played it yet. yeah and that's why as someone who's played it like i wanted yeah to give it my full accolades and that's like yeah, it didn't win at the Game Awards, like, indie game, because, yes, Rocket League came out and everything, but that's why I feel like I want to give it the credit it deserves, because this game, there was nothing about it, and then it just exploded, and, like, blogs I follow on Tumblr, people I see on Facebook, they're all Undertale. Like, it's got a huge community that, like, showed up out of nowhere. Like, within a week, I'm seeing, like, people with, like, beautiful fan art, full costumes of, like, cosplay that look like they've taken like months to make and somehow were made in a week and it's like a lot of support for this game and it, it yeah. deserves it um i uh go ahead um I, no i was going to introduce another game but uh to the discussion but if you want to go no 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 that's what i was gonna do so oh um i think uh one of the games that i was most impressed with this year was splatoon uh, Nintendo, like, open my copy. Nintendo actually taking a risk on a new IP with new characters and a fresh idea. And it, like, succeeds, succeeds. And it succeeds. Like, I'm... As much as we, mostly me and from CJ, uh, bash the Wii U, um, I'm so impressed with this game. Like, I have a Wii U now basically because of Splatoon and, yes, Bayonetta 3, or Bayonetta 2 and Wonderful 101 because I love Platinum. But Splatoon was really, like, I, I want to keep playing it. Like, I love this game. Um, yes, it's not, like, a super competitive shooter, but it's just fun. Like, the art is gorgeous. Uh, the, the music is insane. Like, I haven't liked the game's soundtrack this much since Jack Ryan Radio. Uh, I, I love the soundtrack of Splatoon. Uh, yeah, like, what, uh, CJ, have you had time to play Splatoon at all yet? No, I don't own, I don't own a copy of it. Okay. 
I, I've watched people. It looks fun. I still have yet to open my copy. You got gotta do it, man. Around it. I got it's... it the day it came out, and I have not even taken what, the plastic. What is of all what? the we of all the hate we give this system? You're I sitting know. on the golden. You make, yeah, you do, no. do not make a good argument for like, yeah, this system rules. You're sitting on the best game on it. Like, I couldn't say enough things good about it. Like, the... you literally have the best game for it, and you still don't want to play the system. Like, <laughs> no, it, it doesn't have to do with the system. I had the best game, and I was playing other things on the system, but that had to do more with the fact that I had no way to play it because I had nothing set up. I my Wii U, you have a Wii U? I no, yeah, you I had no online. TV, and the Wii U in our oh, yeah. in our uh, living room was my roommate's. I don't want to play on his account. I want to play on my account. Yeah, so and I swap out. A Kyron in that and, issue, I think. Yeah. yeah, and Splatoon is one of those games that you can't use. You can't do the TV on the tablet because you actually need the tablet to do stuff. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I didn't. The reason I didn't play it wasn't because of the game. It's because I didn't have a good setup for it whatsoever. But you um, haven't even tried to play it. I love. So I didn't have a setup. Yeah. And now I and I'm still moving. <laughs> I love Shut the up, I love the support that the team is giving it to. Like they're constantly adding yeah. new weapons, uh, new maps. Um, at first, I hated the map rotation, but now I love uh, Callie and Mari. I love how everything in the game is a fish pun. Uh, I I just I just I really like that game, and I think Nintendo needs. I think more people need to point out to Nintendo specifically, like you can do new shit, and we'll love it. Stop. Giving us Mario. Hmm. Yeah. Give us more of this. Wait, the did Mario. someone say Mario? Mario <laughs> DLC announced for uh, Splatoon. The Mario Maker was fun, and I do need to get that. Yeah, Mario Maker is fun, but like... But I agree. I'm no, I agree. So, too much I'm like a proud father. I'm like, like they did it. Like, they, yeah. they really did it. Yeah. Um, TJ, what else What else you got for the table? Uh, I was going to give a shout out to... Um, as much as I liked Rocket League and have a ton of fun with that game to me indie game of the year would have to go to uh her story i don't know if you guys played that I have at all not played. i have it i haven't played it yet i heard about it so how it works is you are playing as like a policeman who has to go through a bunch of archival footage uh interviewing this witness this uh or not witness i guess but like key suspect uh key piece of this murder investigation they have a bunch of videos of oh we the interviews oh, yeah and you, you search for the videos by keywords and you can only uh, get five results at it like you'll you'll search for like kill and it'll be like 100 results but you can only see five and you can't advance to see more anything so you have to use like context clues from what she's talking about in the videos to search for other videos and eventually piece the whole thing together i it's, remember What's up? Andy. I remember Andy talking about it a lot. It's yeah. It being a really good game. It's a great execution of a difficult concept. Um, the yeah. acting in it is much better than I would ever give full motion video game credit for. Um, and it's just the, the, the puzzle aspect is fun. It's not frustrating to me. Um, I'm sure some people probably didn't like it because it was hard to, you know, suss out which clues are important and which aren't. But I yeah. thought it was a blast. Yeah, I haven't got a chance to play it, but yeah, I've heard great things about it. Um, they won a bunch of awards at the video game awards for it. Big, but uh, I do want to, I do want to give a big, you know, shout out to Rocket League. I would say the only thing keeping that from being my God, indie Rocket game of the year is so good. It's so good. The only reason that's not my indie game of the year is because it's literally a game they've already made that didn't take off. Yeah, um, I thought so, about that. I'm glad the timing for them worked out this time, but. It's flat out a repeat. Like, and the fact that they okay. gave it away for free also helped them a lot. Yep. Uh, yeah. The, the game is crushing it for me. Um, I think I think just on Steam, I'm sitting around, I want to say I'm at over 250 hours for it now. And that doesn't include all my PS4 time I put into it. And I'm going to buy it on Xbox when it comes out just to have a new slew of players because that one's not cross-play. So I got to see how I stand up against the best of the Xbox now. You got to go dumpster a bunch of noobs again. Yeah. Noob, noob dumpsting. Unbelievable. I, I'm, I'm so impressed with that game. Like, I, I just, I love, this is, this is my problem with a lot of games nowadays. Like, so that game, uh, Rigs for VR, uh, they're already pushing it to be, like, an eSport and to be, like, a competitive game. Yeah. Um, and I don't think that that's the right way to approach making an eSport. You make a game and you let the community decide, like, like, how this is gonna play out. 
Like if you uh, go, I feel like if you go into a game being like, I'm gonna just die in the next hit esport, your game is gonna fall. Like yeah, but that's not how like you have to like if you're designing like a real sport, you have to go into it designing a game that works yeah. on that level. Like you yeah, have, but you to have to make have it you have mind. to you have to make it fun first, and then people will make it competitive. No, like Rocket League. Cause... Rocket League was not designed to be an esport, but Rocket League took off like crazy. Uh, I mean, yeah, the basis I mean, I of that game was is because it's based on a because it's based on a sport. It easily can become an esport because you. So it works for that, but as CJ saying, and I agree, if you are like you can't just. Not everything can accidentally become an eSport. If you want to make it... No, but it, it, it has... Not every game can become competitive. I've seen more games that have sought out to be like, this is going to be the next hit eSport, fall immediately on its face upon release. Well, yeah, there's... Well, I mean, there's yeah. a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of yeah. games that do that in general. Yeah. And a lot of those games that do that do it by copying other games. So that's their bigger... CJ, you're going nuts with that mic. I'm, like, barely touching it. <laughs> um... The other thing I was going to say was, it, 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 I, I don't know about whether or not they did or didn't design it to be an yeah. eSport. I mean, the game came out extremely balanced. All the cars had, like, minor differences between them, but everything was balanced. Uh, like, bigger cars had were slower. Faster cars had a smaller space that you could hit things with. It, it very much came out as a competitive game. Yeah. Yeah, but, I, I mean, it was missing a ton of core stuff. Like, like uh replays and there were ranked modes that weren't in there uh yeah that, that's yeah fun. i mean they came, they came out with rank they said ranked was not implemented which we gave them i i don't know about we actually i gave them a ton of shit yeah about, you did uh because i thought it was i didn't bad. i was just having so much fun i didn't give a shit yeah um but now that uh now that they've come out with all this it's it's clear to me that they at least in some capacity intended for it to be this way yeah Definitely now. Without no, they're sport. doing they're doing a great job of balancing it. It's not like League of Legends, where if you're not going to play a ton and be fantastic at it, then you're going to have no fun. It, it, yeah. They've separated yeah. the two sides of it very effectively. So, and, which is really needed in the And their studio yeah. needs all the pra- for the amount of content they're pushing into this game. Like, yeah. there's updates constantly with new stuff, uh, and the amount of free stuff they they ge- they give away as well. Like, yeah, it's just it's just like toppers and like cosmetic stuff. But they're still like designing it, like all the Christmas stuff that's going on now, the Halloween stuff, the portal, the portal stuff. stuff yeah. All that was free, and that's like that's like forty. And their plus DLC is only like four bucks, and you get like yeah, it's four bucks two, a pop. Usually get like two cars, six toppers, uh, all kinds, of, and a, the map is free for everyone. You don't even have yep. to buy the DLC. To yeah, get the, the map. map's always free. So yeah, their their team is crushing it this year, as far as I'm concerned. They're really high up there for like a game of the year contender for again me. the again the only thing that really knocked them was the fact that they are they did it once this would be like if i mean if though if uh the witcher 3 had already come out like same exact game and then they came out with it again like years later and it was amazing i'd still be like yeah but you did this already yeah um another one i want to throw out there is bloodborne uh yeah oh bloodborne was fantastic yeah. bloodborne was probably the most fun I've had so early in the year. Triple so A title. About it. Yeah, not I mean, not, it was, not it was even what that. March. It was it was early, but I a lot of people are giving it credit. It's well, yeah, no, no, I give it credit. It's just often like I'm thinking in my mind. It's just like, oh yeah, Bloodborne yeah. was this year. It's Re- it, recency, recency bias is definitely. I mean, it's yeah. so much of a thing that it has a name. So. Yeah, like I didn't bring up Fallout Four because I'm playing it so much because it's recent. I think it's a great game, but a lot of these games, all the games we've mentioned, it did like newer things and more innovative and as much as i enjoyed fallout 4 it's i just didn't fallout. bring up fallout 4 because yeah. people stopped playing it seriously after two weeks i mean i not everyone but i i know a lot of people are still big on fallout 4 but it's just a fallout it's a bethesda game so it's nothing that new in it so i didn't i think it's a good game i don't think it's I, have, game I, have of, I have a lot of i have a lot of fallout issues that i don't want to yeah. get into and yeah. yell about uh suffice to say the setting is not executed in a way I appreciate. So while I appreciate the mechanics of the game and like how the game plays and everything, the immersion factor is not there for me. And that's the biggest like knock I have against it. Okay. 
Um, yeah, we could get into Fallout Night. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of this one more than I have been like the past ones. I think I, it's yeah. a ton of fun. I do. I just think that. But yeah, no, I don't think it's game of the year. Two hundred years, you can probably figure out like basic carpentry. I feel like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Oh God, the base building. Oh, yeah, that we'll entire, get to that. Oh, yeah, that entire argument we had for a while. Yeah, yeah. it's just yeah. Um, um, Bloodborne, though, I think Bloodborne was definitely the most fun I had with the game all year. Um, but I think the I think the biggest thing that kept that from being game of the year for me is that it's just designed not to be beaten. It's hard for me to look at a game, even though it's a ton of fun, and say like, yeah, I mean, this is game of the year. Ninety percent of the people that buy it won't finish it. Yeah, I and mean, you're not wrong. And the the trophies for beating the games clearly show that. Uh, but it the game is just so pretty, and the oh, changes gorgeous. the changes they made to the series, like when it was announced, people were like, "Oh, it's just another Souls game with a different name, exclusive to Sony." It's like it really isn't. The, like, yeah, they took out block. They made blocking like completely useless, basically. There is no Shields. blocking; like you have to parry. Well, yeah, you can get a shield, but it's like it's totally useless. Uh, just the, the pace of that game is so fast and so like just visceral. Um, I love it so much. Uh, I I would take that over uh, any Souls title at this point. I would like a new Bloodborne, like in that like same world. Yeah. Um, those mechanics are just so good. Like I love really fast Twitch Twitch gameplay, and it's not like super Twitch gameplay, but it's definitely definitely faster than the Soul series. I, where it's just yeah. like I'm gonna hold a shield and wait for my opportunity. Now it's like, oh shit, he hit me. I'm diving in and hitting him because that's gonna regen my health. I definitely, uh, I think this is the first game that I've ever been like. I really, really wish that there was either a difficulty setting or like some cheat codes or something where I could just like turn off trophies because I want to. I want to play it. Like it's, yeah. it's a great game and I want to play it, but I I'm not the kind of person that can play a game for an hour and have all my momentum wiped out okay um well real quick because we got to get to our predictions yeah uh because we're we're going pretty late yeah we're on a, yeah we got um go. real quick i just wanted to go uh around once for like your main like what your favorite game of the year was um so cj but, did, but didn't i lead with that yeah. is that that's your that's your top that, which are three yeah that's my game three yeah. donnie uh if i had to choose one uh, i'll say undertale that's why I live with that too. Um, mine, um, and it's kind of biased, but I feel like so they, spoiler alert. Spoiler you alert! It already. Spoiler alert! Everyone knows what it is. Uh, mine for me, it's got to be Metal Gear Solid Five. Um, what a twist! I'm having it, it, Donny. It's really close because is it? While is this, it really? No, it isn't. It's, it's not. Rocket League almost took it from it. I, I doubt don't think. That. I don't think. It no, it, it a hun So I have problems with Metal Gear. I don't like that there's no like epic bosses. I don't like how uh, the story is kind of wishy washy and it's all over the place and not in like a good hideo way. It's all over the place in the sense that I feel like Konami was really putting the hurt on him to get this all game over out. The place in a good way. Uh, yeah, man. Like those disjointed stories that are like really great. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, that world is just so fun to be in, and just the level of crazy it takes to design a world like that, and to have someone be like, "Yeah, we'll give you the money to do that." <laughs> like, I, I want more games in that engine and in that world, and I'm sad that we're not going to get that. But yeah, Metal Gear Solid Five to me, that's my game of the year. Like, excellent. I'm, I mean, honestly, the last thing we need at this point is more Metal Gear Solid. Uh, like convolution in that story yeah. so some, someone had to cut him off and I'm sorry it had to happen this way but yeah I'm, it's it's disappointing that it had to happen at the end but I'm glad I am glad it's over and I'm well I mean I shouldn't say that I don't want Konami to make another fucking Metal Gear without Kona with Kojima involved uh, so for they, now I'm saying I'm glad I, it's over I hope they make Metal Gear 6 and it's just like Snake wakes up and it turns out every game after it was Metal all Gear a, dream. Was a dream yeah <laughs> yeah it's Dallas like whoa what a weird dream like right okay let's get to our predictions uh real quick I'm gonna go through our predictions for last year oh let me put up my sweet graphics predictions <laughs> -na -na, -na -na. oh it's ESPN we can't use that yeah <laughs> we're gonna get banned again oh my god okay I'm going to go through our predictions from last year real quick so you can see where we stood. Uh, Donnie, you came in with two points. Oh. Uh, so you predicted that Nintendo will announce a new Punch-Out game. Denied. Sony... That. That, was a, that was a good 
guess we thought. Yeah, Sony will announce a new handheld system. Denied. Oh man, I almost made that a prediction this year, not realizing <laughs> I predicted it uh, last year. Blizzard will tease a new WoW expansion. Not only did they tease it, they full bore announced it, uh, yeah. and we, I think we have so, a release date. So wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so I almost marked it wrong because of that. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not mean. I only open amiibos for Donnie. Well, they teased it before they announced. Yeah. It, so. Yeah. Uh, so that you got a point for that. Uh, Nintendo will announce the next DLC for Smash. I really didn't want to give you a point for that one because that seemed so like just safety net. No. We, well, yes, but they literally said, "Oh, Mewtwo is the last DLC character. We're doing no more," which of course is bullshit. Yeah. But so you, but yeah. you got you got a point for that. Good. Uh, and then your fifth and final prediction was Valve will announce a new title. Yeah. Denied. Yeah, Valve didn't do anything this year, actually. They, I think the closest they came was uh, cooperating with LEGO Dimensions and Rocket League. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, Still me, riding that portal wave. Mm -hmm. Me, uh, I didn't do so hot. Uh, I had 1.5 points. You can't get a half point. You can okay. get a half point. CJ, can he get a half point? Uh, I'll have to hear it before I rule. Okay, Waterworld, denied. Yeah. Skate 4, again denied. for the third year in a row, I think, denied. Yeah. Uh, no More Heroes 3, denied. Yeah. Uh, PS4 will announce a bigger hard drive model. Uh, correct. There are one terabyte models, and they're out. Yeah. So I got, that's my one point. Yeah. Now, my 1.5 is a Connect model price drop... And I said sort of because they did knock $100 off, uh, but then they just kept going. <laughs> like, they just kept knocking money off and the Kinect itself. Oh, it so that's why I gave... It doesn't come with the Kinect anymore? No, it doesn't. Mm. It, you almost can't buy the Kinect model anymore. Mm. So that's why I gave myself right, a point I'll five. To, I'll have to... Uh, I mean, did the Kinect model get a price drop? Yes. Then that's a full point as far as I'm concerned. That's, you said... Connect model would get a price drop, and it did. Just because they, they like, like we said with Donnie, they teased it, then they announced it. They dropped the price, then they discontinued. Okay. It. Yeah. I mean, I'll take the two, the two points. Yeah, to tie I gotta, Donnie. I gotta be fair. I gotta fair okay. fair. Okay. Wait, you gave him two points. Yeah. So we're, me and you are tied, Donnie. And then CJ, with the astounding victory. Uh, really? Which I didn't want to give him because one of those was the safest of safety net predictions way more than your dlc for smash donnie a aka was a good prediction new rock band announced this year when they had clearly already announced it multiple times in emails oh, and everything they, they did not <laughs> announce it there was just not an official like yes we're making rock band 4 there was hey all your rock band playlist will was, still work was, on the hey, next system would you like a new rock band Oh yeah, there was also that email that was like, yeah. who's excited for a new rock band? Yeah. So you got a point for that, but it's questionable. Yeah. That's that's called a, that's a safe prediction, Kyle. Sometimes you guess things that you know they're going to be right because you know you need the points. Uh, at E3, an announcement for Dark Cloud 3? Denied. <laughs> yeah, that was a stretch. I mean, it really wasn't. For all the things that were announced at E3. Like, oh no, we thought, we thought it was coming because of that Sony thing. Yeah. Plant, that's right. I did have a reason for it. Yeah. Battlefield, Battlefield Hardline will tank critically. 40s across the board. But then you specifically said that the meta can't be higher than 70 or it's a fail. The meta is 71. Oh. Den denied. No way. No <laughs> denied. Way. I'm looking this up right now. <laughs> and no way. Oh, get out of here, EA's official site. The meta is 71. I can't even deal with this on my... You said video. 70 or higher, and it's a fail. My god. 3.6 for a user score, and it's 71. What yep. the fuck? Uh, WoW will lose a significant amount of subscribers based on WAD. I gave you a point for that because it did lose a significant amount of yeah. subscribers, and I couldn't prove it was because of WAD. <laughs> uh, so I gave you that point. And then the one that I don't even understand how you were that accurate on was Disney Infinity 3, 
3.0 was going to be Star Wars, and that was 100% accurate. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know I know my Disney Infinity. <laughs> so, you got three points for last year. Me and Donnie tied it, too. Oh, yeah, fucking 71. God damn it. Yeah. That was... That was well, I, still, I still won. With the win. <laughs> Man. I was watching that and I was like, God damn it, he's, he got four points. And then you like specifically stopped and went like, you know what, if the meta is higher than blank, <laughs> it's a fail. Yeah, that was my, I shouldn't have, I should have just you pulled left too it. High. Well, I was trying to be specific because I was like, I don't want Kyle to come in and be like, well, did it really tank critically? Because bleh. <laughs> yeah. Like it got a 51, that's above average. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Let's get through our predictions for next year real quick, uh, yeah. and then we'll do the follow-up giveaway. We might go a little bit late, but not too much. Um, we'll who wants to lead off? You. Me? Yep. Okay. Uh, Are we doing it in round robin order, or to make it quicker, we should do all five of ours at each? No, go go round. We'll go do round robin, but we'll do it quick. Um, I don't have any long ones like last year. Um, okay. Red Dead Redemption 2 will be announced. Uh, Rockstar released Grand Theft Auto uh, 5 in 2013, and while they have ported it to both next-gen and PC and providing new content for it, they've still been very silent on what's coming next. Uh, and I feel like the fans have been asking for a return for the Old West for a while, so I think we're definitely in line for at least an announcement of Red Dead Redemption 2. I, uh, I hope so. It's not bad. not bad. I hope so a lot. Okay. Uh, my number five is that VR will emerge as a true platform. Uh, and what I mean by that is that there will be specifically games that are VR only. Yep. Uh, they will come out for uh, Oculus Rift only, uh, PlayStation VR only, whatever the VR platforms. Like it'll, it'll be like how the Kinect was, where it's like, yep. boom. The, and they will be successful. That's what I qualify as, like, a true platform. Like, the Engage, not a true platform. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My number five kind of jumps off that. I think that the NX will have a VR peripheral. Whoa. Because Nintendo, VR is starting to become big. Everyone's getting a VR peripheral. It's starting to become a real thing. Nintendo tried at it back in the 90s, failed with the Virtual Boy, hasn't touched it since, anything. But Nintendo likes crazy controllers. Nintendo yeah. likes gimmicks. And if VR is being successful, everyone has a VR peripheral. Nintendo's going to try to do it, do it crazy or something, add some crazy gloves to it. Maybe not the power glove, but add something. So I think NX will have a... Uh, they'll at least announce or talk about the ideas for having a VR peripheral yeah, for the NX. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, jumping off that, uh, my number four... Nintendo's NX will ship priced at $349.99, and it will ship with the new Zelda title that will be both available for the NX and the Wii U, similar to Twilight Princess before it. Yeah. Uh, the console will also be weird as shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Well, now, now uh, that, that doesn't now, count as a prediction. Now the controller is stationary and the console. Wait, was that was that like a sub? That was almost like two predictions in one, Kyle. No, that's there's no shenanigans in that prediction. Saying it's going to be weird as shit counts as a prediction. Um, I've heard rumors that the c controller is going to be like a full, just a screen with like analog sticks like on the side, and it plays like so developers can make like tap like you know how tablet games have like the circle on the screen. It looks yeah. like a D pad and stuff like that. They'll be able to do stuff like that. And I was like, man, I really hope they don't do that. I, uh, I will say this. The only way that doesn't count as two predictions is it needs to hit both of those if you want a single point. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm fair with that. All right. Marked it. Number four, CJ. Uh, my number four is that Konami will not release a new video game in 2016. Damn it. I, that wasn't one of mine, but it was one I was considering. <laughs> That's not bad. I, I think that they are just going to be like, and I don't even think we're going to see winning 11. I don't think we're going to get another one of those. Yeah. Uh, my next one, I'm bringing back, uh, not as a launch title, but one of the titles shown off to be planned for the NX will be a new Punch-Out game. <laughs> I, keep it going. Punch-Out NX. It's going to be great. God damn it. I need it. 
I I almost put Skate Four on my list, <laughs> and I was like, no, I lo I lost this year. I need to get some points. I gotta take this year seriously. No, I'm taking this is serious. They're gonna show and be like, and no, 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 yeah, back. Pow Punch Out, serious. Skate Four, no. Pipe Dream. Yeah. Uh, my number three, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Episode One will be released in the summer. Uh, with the way they're doing episodic content and they're handling the game, I feel like we will get episode one this year uh, during what is known as the gaming drought of the summertime uh, in preparations for 15 and uh, episode two to be released. It'll give people enough time to get into it. I think we'll, I think with what they showed um, at the PlayStation experience, I think they're really close to having episode one ready. So I would not be surprised so. to see that. This summer. It'd be awesome. Wait, episode one of what? Final Fantasy VII. Oh, okay, okay. Um, my number three is that there will be less than three new LEGO games in 2016. Less than three. And so, just to clarify, yeah, less than three. This does not count LEGO Worlds. Yeah. Uh, because when I say LEGO games, I think we all know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. So, less than three. I think they're development of lego dimensions is going to uh impact does that. a lego dimensions count yes if they came out with like lego dimensions 2 okay, yeah, okay. that is a new game yes. i want that yeah. okay i want that not, in yeah not three new ips three less three or less new games okay my next one no man's sky will be delayed till 2017 Ooh, i don't like that one uh I hope not. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's. A, I think that's the uh, rock band of this one. Um, but I don't want. Don't it. say that. God damn it. I don't want it to be true. Yeah. Hey, I w almost wasn't gonna do it, but you're like, oh, here's buzzwords today. No man, uh, no man's sky. I was like, yep, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, Donnie, sometimes it's a meatball right down the middle. You gotta swing. Yeah. My number two, uh, Sony's VR will come out swinging, and it'll be the lowest price point VR, and it's going to hit the ground running with the strongest library of titles. Uh, I feel like Sony can't afford to take a loss on this, so we might see this even as low as $250 uh, on launch uh, for the VR. Um, yeah, I think Sony's going to try and pull ahead, specifically with the price point and the library of like VR-only like first-party games. I think that's good. I think that's a good uh, yeah. good prediction. I see that. That has legs, I'll say. Um, what did I do with my list? Here we go. Uh, my number two prediction is that there will be no sequels to either Rock Band or Guitar Hero. God, that is the safest of safes. How is that safe? They were <laughs> Guitar Hero especially. They were pumping them out yearly. That was, like, yeah. absurd. Yeah, but with the Guitar Hero Live, like, the TV thing, I feel like they could do more with that, like, sell, like, a TV pack. Does that count? Uh, if no, they... I, I said I said new sequels. Okay. So, yeah. Guitar okay. Hero two or anything along those lines, Rock Band five or anything along those lines, but it needs to be a, a true sequel, not just. Okay. I mean, yes. my number one is pretty safe, uh, so I'll let that one slide. Sometimes you have to predict things because you need them to be true, yes. and that is yeah. something I need to be true. <laughs> okay. My next one is that the new World of Warcraft expansion, which name I can't think of at the Legions. Moment. Legions. Will not gain back as many subscribers as Warlords of Draenor did, because Warlords of Draenor had a lot of people came back yeah. for it. It won't gain as many back, but it won't lose as many as Warlords did. So it won't get as many back, but it'll be steady. It'll kind of keep it steady in the water, not as much of a decline. That's I think not, it'll be. That's not bad. I think it. This one, it won't bring back as many people, but I think they're going to make up for the mistakes Warlords did, and we're not going to see a lot of people who just kind of turn away. Yeah. Okay, it's down to the wire. The number one predictions. As all of you know, I have a time machine, and I'm only allowed oh, to use God. it. I'm only allowed to use it once per year. But this is to, known to travel to the future. Last it, year, it I traveled known. and I found out about the price drop. Uh, no, last year you used your time machine for you used it for Waterworld, which we changed the timeline to avoid. Thank goodness. Yeah. Yes. Um. So this year, I just don't want him to lie about what he used. It. Yeah, okay. No, I agree. So this year, I used my time machine, and I got some. I, I just want you guys to be calm about this. Uh, Warcraft Four will be announced. 
Oh, Ooh. yeah, okay. Uh, with StarCraft, no, 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 no. With Starcraft like 2 on its last expansion, Blizzard might have some free time to start working on a new story in the Warcraft universe. Uh, we may not get any details other than the announcement trailer, but I feel like we will see Warcraft 4 announced because they have a massive team from StarCraft that's only now making little mini-missions for StarCraft Legacy of the Void. It's time that they go back to an old RTS and bring back Orcs vs. Humans. I I don't know how accurate it is, but I like this one. This is better than Water Well, it's World. super accurate because I use my time machine. I don't, I don't see it happening. Just because Warcraft is no longer an RTS to them. Th we'll that's see. the one caveat that I see. But I don't know. I'm in the middle on this one. I like both points. The one point being, I want that. The other point being, <laughs> CJ's logic. <laughs> well, the third point is Time Machine. That wasn't a point. That's, no, that's a minus point. Yeah. Okay. It, it will be a minus point in the future. That's what I'm using my Time Machine for. It's uh, <laughs> a waste of a Time Machine. <laughs> my, my number one is that there will be at least one game where its eSports championship is broadcast on primetime national TV. Ooh. Not ESPN2, not noon on a Sunday. Primetime prime national. Prime national TV. Interesting. Yeah, I could almost see that happening. Well, you will be able to see it happening next <laughs> November at 8 o'clock on TNT. <laughs> wow. <laughs> na -na -na, my, na -na -na. <laughs> my last prediction, it's not a throwaway as much as most people will probably call it a throwaway. <laughs> um, Is it punch out? No, I already predicted... <laughs> Nintendo that. will make it. a game. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a safety net. Um, it might be a Mario game. That should not be. <laughs> Nintendo makes a Mario. No. Um, with the fact that the recent Sonic games have sucked and there's not really anything going and Sonic Team is going downhill, they will unveil Billy Hatcher 2. God damn it. <laughs> Billy Hatcher I would 2. Be so. I would be so, so hyped. Sonic so. Team has just been doing crap with, like, with Sonic. What oh, else yeah, did Sonic... Just, all you had to do was doing crap. Yeah, it's it. just do, I mean, but all they've been doing lately is Sonic. So maybe yeah, they take a crap. break from Sonic and go, what else can we make? Billy Hatcher 2. I would be so hype on that. I would be the most hype. I mean, care what, like, system it's on. I'd get it. Yep. Yeah. It would be on Annex. Yeah. <laughs> it, it would, most likely. Even if they just make one for 3DS, I don't care. It, that still counts. If it's called... If it's a new Billy Hatcher... What well, if it's oh. called Hill, Hilly worst, Hatcher? Worst disclaiming he messed with my time machine, and we're gonna have some words. Worst. If, uh -oh, if yeah. next year it's I'm not... Like how you convert. So, no, I want time, to... Time machine tampering is a uh, federal crime in the future. Yeah. That's true. I want the record to show, if I get that one wrong, I still get a point, because worst heroes messed with my time machine. No. Denied. Point accepted. Uh, so yeah, that's our predictions for next year. Um, I think we're we got some good ones. I, I would say those are our like announcements for next year. Like, yeah. That's, yeah. Predictions makes it sound like we don't know what we're talking about. No, we're pretty accurate. Those are yeah. happening. We mean Billy Hatcher too. Both me Our and exist. Both me and Donnie got two points, and you got three. So that that's more points that's, than most people got. That's eight points. No, oh, seven points. <laughs> Math is fun. Yeah, I'm going six for five this year, so I'll wow. tell you that much. Uh, let's do our follow-up giveaway. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we had a we had a, a good amount of submissions. Uh, I'm not going to show them all now. Maybe I'll post them on the website because there are there are some good ones. But I picked a winner. Uh, this is the Fallout bobblehead in the box because I'm not going to take it out of the box for our, our nice winner. Um, but the person who spoke up and reminded me conveniently, let's bring it up on the screen so everybody can see it, is the winner. Yeah! That's so how they reminded you. They knew. They knew. I like Maybe they have a time armor. machine. I like that power armor a lot. See, the power armor and the, the it was the bobblehead the on bobblehead the top. The bobblehead collection, yeah. Yeah, it was, well, it was yeah. the Irish one on the top that sold me. <laughs> That's the one that sold me because he's, cause he's just looking at it dead in the eye like, how you doing? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's really nice. I like that. I mean, I like the paint on the power armor the most. Uh, I think that's an awesome design. The power armor made me think of Warhammer, and I was like, okay. I'm with the power you. armor makes me think of World War Two planes. 
So, Nikki, I will <laughs> I will message you uh, to get a way to send this to you. Um, and since I have your email and I'm not going to give it out on the show, I will message you with, uh, yeah. Getting some deets. Getting some deets. I need the deets for the Congra- sweet. Congrats, uh, congrats, Nikki. Yeah, congrats, Nikki. Uh, tell your friends about us because we're awesome. And yeah. get this bottle hit. It's in Ooh, the box. Sweet giveaways and stuff. Yeah, we do yeah. giveaways. Um, and that's going to be the end of the show for this year. Uh, we're not doing another show. That's Yeah, that's the end of season three. Yeah, season three is over. Uh, so let's talk about that real quick um, since we have so much time left of the show. No, so really. after, after three is four, as you guys know. Yep. Um, um, yep. So ne- next year there's going to be some changes, and I can't get into those right now. Don't but we're going to promise things. I'm not, I didn't promise all anything. He, all he said was changes. Yeah, yeah Donnie. Nothing's going to change. That's what the promise <laughs> if, if we're If we're like on time. Even once, that's a change. Yeah, that's a change. Yes. Um, yeah, we got so change. <laughs> so you guys are getting a break from us, but we we're are not getting a break, break from us. because I'm going to revamp a lot of what you're seeing on the screen. Uh, there might be some new graphics. There might even be a new now intro. He's promising. Stuff. Enough. No, I didn't say the word promise. You said there will be. Oh my god! I said Don't might. Jinx it! Don't say that! Don't. No. <laughs> what if Tiros? That would have been a great prediction. Oh, that's a really good prediction for next year. CJ's computer last a month. <laughs> no, shut up. God damn it. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, Will of the Champion. Um, anyway, so that's the show. Um, I might be doing some streaming uh, coming in the next week oh, or two. Oh, uh, that's, that's a good whoa, announcement whoa, whoa, for next whoa. year. Whoa. Sorry, I, I wanted to tell everyone. Uh, I, I've been... Uh, I was going to stream this week, and then I decided to put it off so I could just start in 2016 start off fresh uh as the worst heroes pointed out my computer and i have had a tenuous at best relationship over the past uh two quarters um but come 2016 i'll be back live streaming uh doing terrible league of legends making bad choices in uh choose your own adventure games all kinds of stuff just all for you peeps can you hear me typing away yeah yeah okay good Oh, good, I'm glad. Dead air. Dead air. Okay. No, wait, wait. It wasn't dead air. You can hear me tip tap typing away. That's. It's air that's full, Donnie. That's, de- <laughs> that's the definition. It's, that's the dead um, air. Yeah, so uh, I might stream sometimes. I don't have really a really set schedule, which is fairly like typical right now. We'll, we'll figure one out. Yeah, we'll figure one out. Um, Donnie, would you like to say your goodbyes? Uh, thanks everyone. I saw a few new people. Uh, so the best thing you can do is uh, tell your friends, tell your family. Uh, just spread the word around. Tell everyone about us, where we are, when we are, what we are. Uh, we really appreciate it, and uh, it means a lot to us. CJ, say your goodbyes. We won't thanks. see him for another year. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for making the 2015 the frame lossiest it could be. Make sure you guys hit the heart right down there below me. That'll let you guys follow us on Twitch. That way, every single time we go live, you will get a notification so you guys can come join us, hang out, have fun, party hardy with us. Uh, also, make sure you guys are following us on social media. We have a Twitter, a Facebook, and a YouTube to follow, all with fantastic stuff. We do tons of giveaways on those. Um, the only time we do them is on those, really. We don't talk about those giveaways on the show. Um, I think we've done a couple that, like again, like I said, we just don't mention them because you have to be following us on uh, those platforms to even have a chance at it. Maybe we'll start announcing winners, though, just to really drive the point home that you yeah. guys are missing out if you don't follow us. Uh, so make sure you follow us there as well. Also, you can head on over to frameloss.com. That's our website. That way you guys can get updates on the world of gaming anytime you feel like it. Uh, and finally, feel free to head on over to patreon.com slash frameloss. That is our Patreon. Patreon is kind of like Kickstarter, but it's uh, monthly. Um, you guys can donate to the show there. Each and every dollar that goes into our Patreon goes into helping the show, making it better. We want the show to be awesome. We have a blast doing it. We want it to be great for you guys. Um, so every little bit helps. Um, even if it's like a dollar, two dollars, it, it all adds up and it all makes the show even better in the long run. So, uh, you know, tis the season, as they say. Yeah. Oh, I had the news of the week overlay up the, entire, the whole predictions part and the game of the awards. Yeah. I'm really on point right now. Yeah. Um, real quick, I have Donnie. Do you remember at the beginning of the show uh, when I opened the Wii Fit Trainer? Does that ring a bell? Yes. Only vaguely. Only vaguely. Donnie? 
Merry Christmas. You bastard. How did you get a rose? Oh. Thanks everyone. Good night. Good game.